All right, I think we're going to go ahead and get started. Sorry for the delay, you guys. I was eating my lunch, <laughs> but uh, I am here. We are ready to go, and we should be ready to stream. So welcome to the stream again. We are here in Wolf Quest, and uh, I'll go ahead and get our screen off so that we can go ahead and get started. And uh, we are here with Peregrine and Remus and their puppies. There's six puppies who are, um, oh, they're having, they're having fun right now. Look, look at this, look at this. And I think we're actually about ready to head to the rendezvous side, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes, so Kestrel is the only one we're waiting on. And uh, we have, I don't think we picked the site yet, did we? No, we'll do that once we start, I think. But we did find the four closest. We took a look at them. So that's going to be, if I show the territory, so we can actually see where my cursor is. Right here, right here, right here, and right here are our options. Those are the closest rendezvous sites, and those are the ones that we're potentially going to be uh, going to here. So, uh-oh, there was a cougar right when you woke up. That's never good. I've had that happen. Um, yeah, Rain does have a lot of channel points. She does a very good job hanging out here and uh, keeping an eye on things, and it's probably going to be pretty hard to beat her in terms of channel points. Um, but that's, that's, that's all good. She does a great job, and I much appreciate having her as a mod. All right, hopefully you guys can hear me. Okay, I think so. Yep, six bold puppies indeed. Uh, seven was our Wayfinders, and uh, I know some of the... Well, no, it's not, no, it's only six here. Um, Wayfinders had seven, and I know some of the Elements pack also has seven, so if you've been following those series, then uh, you might be seeing that. Um, this is indeed the second litter. And uh, let's see, you got your first bear at the den and then woke up to it. Uh-oh, that's not good. Yeah, uh, they um, they mentioned that they uh, they turned the bear spawn rates up a little bit, the bear attack rates in one of the patch notes, so oh no. <laughs> uh, hopefully this does not mean that we're going to have issues with Peregrine. Um, but I think, all right, it looks like it is time to sleep, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, wait, we did feed them, right? They are good? All right, always trying to figure out where we left off. And we may actually be able to finish this this time. We'll have to see. We're streaming until about 4. So, uh, or, well, 4, depending on where you're at, it is 2.15 here. So we'll be streaming about until 4 my time. And uh, I probably am going to be tweaking a few things for next week. So it seems likely that I will be moving my main stream days from Monday and Friday to Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> Just as a little bit of a heads up, I have to finalize all of that. But it's looking like that's going to be the case. I've been having a little bit... Uh-oh. Hello? Why did it... Sometimes it pops my mouse out and I never like when it does that. Why did it pop my mouse out? It means I have an alert. Oh, okay, it's good. It's good. Good news. Okay. Your pups have each grown to 15 pounds. So that means it is time to leave for the rendezvous site. Oh, and here we go. We're going to get to see the older babies. Look at the older babies! They're gonna be coming out here in a second! So, your pups are now two months old. Their bodies, though still small, are tough enough to make, protect them from the elements. They no longer need the den, and the fleas make it unappealing anyway. Now is the time to journey to a good place to spend the summer. This is known as a rendezvous site. There are many good places in the Slough Creek area to choose as your home base for the summer. You need a spot with sun and shade, tall grass for the pups to hide in while you're away, and nearby water. Since the elk herds have migrated to higher elevations, you might also want to move there as well in the northern and southern areas of the map. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, I was worried it was going to be a sick pup, too. That was why I started getting nervous, but we're good, I think. Uh, do I like the new black coats? I haven't seen too much of them yet, uh, but I do like what I have seen, and it seems like they've got some fun options. The older pups are indeed very, very cute, very lanky babies. All right, so we'll be taking a look at the rendezvous sites in a minute here. But first of all, look at the babies! Look at the babies! <laughs> we have some very, very lanky, leggy babies. Oh my goodness, they're all running out. They're so cute, you guys, but uh, this is no longer our den. We gotta pick a rendezvous site, and uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. So let's start off right away with that poll. Then we'll start heading out. So we've got four rendezvous sites. Again, it's the ones that are closest around the den. It's this one up here, this one here, this one here. Hopefully you remember them better than I do because I don't remember them too much. Oh, thank you, thank Phoenix for uh, subscribing. Thank you very much for the subscription and I hope you enjoy it. We'll be hopefully getting some emotes in hopefully next month too. 
I don't have a lot of that set up yet, but I'm working towards it and hopefully it won't be too much longer. Uh, in the meantime, you do still get some uh, rewards, especially in Planet Zoo, you can submit names and stuff for free if you're a subscriber. So let's take a look to, uh, it looks like, hopefully you guys remember these, I'm going to set up the uh, the poll for this. So we have Big Tree Rendezvous Site, Rocky View Rendezvous Site, Creekside Rendezvous Site, and Meadow Rendezvous Site. That's just the descriptions of what these each are. Uh, we did open for names last time. We have a few too many at the moment. So um, if you want to submit names, that is currently only open for bits right now. But if we do remove rendezvous sites, or in the future when we have another pack that gets to them, you'll be able to submit there too uh, for channel points again. But uh, let's see, the pop-up, uh-oh. The pop-up should have come up. Uh-oh. Did it, did it come up? Hopefully, oh, it was, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't play a sound. I don't have it play a sound, but it does play an animation. Oh, rain saw. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> I'm glad it went up. I always worry that it'll uh, go off because I almost never actually see it happen, but I'm glad that it did. Also, welcome everyone to the stream. I see some new folks popping in. So I'm going to set up a poll. Remember, these are not the rendezvous site names. They're just the descriptions. We'll be naming the actual site once we get there. So let's go ahead and I will do a poll. A uh, new poll, which rendezvous site should we choose? And then we have Big Tree, Rocky View, Creekside, and Meadow. And go ahead, run that for a minute, and we'll start the poll. And this will determine which one we should go to. We'll clear out all of the others, and uh, we will see which one you guys want us to pick. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think Lavender Fields is one of the names. I'll take a look when we get there. I don't have it up at the moment. Um, Bitterroot Meadows. Okay, so yeah, some cool, cool names. I think we'll see what we have when we get there. And uh, again, we'll probably have to run two polls because I did get a few too many names by accident last time. Didn't have it set up quite right, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, okay, we have seven from last week. Rain has access to them as well. They're all still there. Um, yeah, I don't remember what the rendezvous sites looked like either, so I'm kind of trusting you guys to, to, to remember that. I don't have the best of memories. <laughs> um... Oh, your kitty is, uh, kitty's bumping your computer around. <laughs> All right. So it looks like we are just about done. And in a moment here, we should get the results. Oh, did it come in? It looks like it. Creekside. Wow. Very much in favor of Creekside. Also, thank you to Wolvesvar for contributing 400 channel points for that. Uh, thank you for that. And we'll go ahead and uh, so it looks like Creekside is the winner. I'm going to close out all the others and we'll head to that one based off of the marker on the map. I think that... I don't see where it is now. It'll show up on the map. It'll show up on the map. We'll see it. So it looks like it's down this way. Let's go ahead and first things first, I'm going to woof everybody into the grass here just so that we can make sure everybody's good and kind of check in on the babies, make sure that there's no predators coming or anything. Uh, hello and welcome to the stream, everyone. I see we've got some new folks hopping in and we're just setting out on the rendezvous site journey and it looks like everything is good. I'm not seeing any predators. So we're heading this way. Let's go ahead and call them back out and get started. All right. Um, oh my goodness. Your, did your cat take over the, the auto heart case, case rain? Is that what happened there? Cats like that. Cats do very much like to investigate interesting new things and sometimes claim them as their own. Shadow was, oh man, what was it she was doing that I thought was really funny? Oh, she she didn't want to be in the room and then as soon as the door was closed and we couldn't let her in, she decided she did want to be in, in the, the bedroom and, and she just sat and yelled. And, and kept yelling and wouldn't <laughs> and she apparently had shown no interest when my mom went in there and then as soon as I came out once the door was closed she just sat and started screaming at the top of her lungs because she wanted me to let her in <laughs> even though she had the chance to go in and was not interested until suddenly the door was closed and if that's not a classic cat move I don't know what is <laughs> oh my goodness oh we've got Ivy's trailing just a little bit I think we're okay though 
Oh man, I wish everybody would walk a little bit closer together, but we do have some probably very, very bold puppies that like to uh, sprint in all directions. So, yes, puppy howls! The puppy howls are great! Um, oh my goodness, I'm trying to keep both an eye on puppies in chat, so pardon me if I'm a little slow to respond. Uh, we are full on names at the moment. I had him open last time because I wasn't sure if we were going to be leaving, and we did get the maximum that we can do. So you can still submit them for bits if you want to, but uh, channel point submissions are closed for the time being. Um, See, yeah, cats do hate closed doors. It, 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 it's, it's this whole thing where, like, they can have no interest in it before, and as soon as the door is closed, then all of a sudden the cat very much wants to be there solely by virtue of the door being closed. That's just a hair, I think, right? Oh, oh, it's a fox. Okay. Guys, are you gonna go in the grass? I did woof them, but I don't think it actually went. <laughs> there we go. They are actually going in now. I just kind of want to take another head count. We still got all six. Firefly just uh, chilled out finally. That was a fox, so we'll leave it be. Uh, Peregrine isn't quite as, um, as curious about the foxes as Pyrrha is, but uh, she doesn't really mind them, I would say. All right. Um... Let's see here. Where are we heading? We're just heading in this direction still. <laughs> All right, your your cat screams as well. Yep. Yeah, it's it's always funny to me how that's just Shadow's default form of communication. Like it's just loud. <laughs> she's a loud girl. You wouldn't think it by how how she's generally very shy, but with us, you would not think that she's this just loud like that. But she is, and it's so funny to me. <laughs> She's a very communicative kitty, and uh, she certainly makes her presence known when she wants something. Uh, Siamese are very vocal cats. Shadow isn't a Siamese. Uh, we think Beanie may have been part Siamese because he had that very... He was also a very loud cat. <laughs> he was definitely a talker as well, and he kind of had that Siamese... A little bit of a Siamese look to him, even though he didn't have the markings, but in uh, shape he looked a lot like a Siamese cat. So we always have one, we wondered about him, but I don't know what uh, what Shadow is. Shadow is just a um, a mix of, of different. I don't know. All of our most all of our kitties for in recent years have been rescues. So we haven't really known what they've been, but um, Shadow is a very long cat, <laughs> and Beanie was a very tall cat. So I'm gonna go ahead. We'll call these guys out again. Just did another head count. Um, yeah, I don't think foxes kill pups. I've never had an issue. I think those elk, though, could be. I've had enough people warn me. Are y'all good? Everybody's good, I think. And how are we doing? Okay, we're still fairly high on food. Don't think we've got any problems there. Um, I have had people warn me, though, that the elk can actually be aggressive toward wolf puppies, so we want to uh, maybe keep our distance from the herd. <laughs> um... Yeah, we want to be cautious. We're just going to go with it over this side of the hill because I don't want any of my pups getting kicked by an elk. And uh, it's not, not, not something we... Oh, oh, it's a, there's a fawn somewhere near here. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I see Mama over there. I think that must be... I think that's a mule deer, uh, probably. Let's go down here. Is that- that's just- okay, sorry, I'm a little bit, um, I'm hearing noises and I'm not 100% sure what they're from, so I am, uh, trying to- trying to figure that out. Let's go ahead and move into the grass again, quickly, hopefully. This isn't- this isn't the one- the grass patch where there would be a baby, is it? No. Alright, guys? Can we go in the grass, please? Thank you. <laughs> a little bit- a little bit difficult to corral the puppies, but it looks like we've got everyone- we're not going to try to worry about hunting right now. How are we doing on sleep, too? 40%, it looks like. Um, yeah, Automa, Automa do be wild in sometimes. Thank you for dealing with that rain. Um, let's see. All right, yep. Indeed. Uh, indeed, indeed, indeed. I don't want the elk to be a problem to us here. We're pretty close, though. I think the rendezvous site is just up ahead, actually. Um, I think we're not too far from it, so if we keep going... Um, aw, that's really sweet. You have a Siamese and a Calico American short hair, and they're both very vocal. Some kitties just are. Some kitties just like to talk, and some kitties really don't. It just depends on the, uh, the cat. Same thing for dogs, too. Some of them are a lot more talkative and uh, make a lot more different noises. <laughs> um, alright, let's see. 
Uh, sure, you can share your wolf fact if you would like to. Uh, oh, I see you did. That's interesting. Oh, that's very interesting. I don't know. I, I don't know too much about that kind of wolf. There's wolves have a lot of interesting, um, interesting history to them. There's, I know there is a pack in Yellowstone uh, that tends to specialize in hunting bison. From what I've heard, they're kind of known for that. Guys, please. <laughs> it usually takes a couple of woofs. They're very, um, very eager to be out and running around. They're not too keen to go back in the grass. Um, you can't. Used to be more vocal. Yeah, sometimes they change too. Um, let's see. All right, let's see. But yeah, that is very interesting. All right, where are we headed now? We got past the elk herd. We're pretty close. We're pretty close. I think the rendezvous site is maybe just around the corner. I don't actually see for sure. Oh, it's. It's across? Is it across the creek? Oh no, I think it's around the creek, maybe. Alright, we've got... gosh, I feel like I'm not paying enough attention here. Oh, I see where it is. Oh, it's, it's right up here. It's right up here. It's that tree in the distance. I'm pretty sure. That big tree that you see around the corner. I don't want you guys falling in. Be careful, please. Firefly, be careful, please. I'm pretty sure it's that big lone tree right over there. Okay. I think we're gonna have to cross the creek a little bit, so let's try to do that here. And, oh boy, be careful, y'all. This is a lot easier. Oh, Kestrel's floating away, guys. Oh, gosh, this music! This music is giving me flashbacks. Oh, my goodness. All right, come on, Kestrel. Oh, gosh, puppies everywhere. Ivy, Ivy. <laughs> okay, Ivy's on the shore. Kestrel's here. Firefly and Kodiak. Oh, gosh, I don't- I still don't like the river crossing. It's a lot less, um, chaotic than, uh, in the old game, but I think we're good. I think we're good. Is everybody good? Remus? Or did you make it out? Okay. One, two, we've got everybody. Oh, did, Ta did Taiga just trip? I swear I just saw Taiga trip and fall, but this is the rendezvous site. Uh, yes. Yes, they are tired. Let's get to the rendezvous site, though. Oh, Remus is coming with Ivy. They are indeed very tired. Did they run in there because of the mom? Oh, hello? No? What? Hello? Hello? No? 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 No, this is not what I want. Woof. Hey, hey, get away. What is the matter with you? No, you do not. Get away from my pups. What are you doing here? Get out. Oh, man. Guys? Guys, Remus, please help. Remus, help. Remus, help. Remus, help. Help, 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 help. Guys? Guys, what's happening? Get away. Get away. What are you doing here? Get away. I don't like this. <laughs> Remus? Remus, I could use a heck in hand. Ow. Hello? Is her baby in? Oh my gosh, I think her baby might be in this grass. <laughs> Guys? Uh, Peregrine is not high on health. Get away. Is... What, what is happening? Remus? Guys? Ow. Oh no, not now, not now. Okay, where? I can't, I've lost track of some of the puppies. I have lost track. No, get in the grass. All right, there's coyotes over there. Wait, no, where's the other? Okay, I only... I don't... Fawn, 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 fawn. No! Get away! Fawn, I'm grabbing fawn. Oh my gosh. Did the coyotes leave? I don't see the uh, pop-up anymore. I think they must have left. Hello? I don't see the warning. What is happening? What is happening? Guys? Remus? Um, kill the calf, then the mother should leave. Okay. No, do not. Do not. Don't you touch my puppies. You, oh, there's the calf. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, she's running. Thank you guys for that advice. Oh my gosh, what the heck was that? Yes, okay, we completed the quest. I'm thankful my babies didn't die. What the heck, guys? Ah. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. We're gonna just take a moment to decompress here. Where did, uh, where did Remus go? That was a very intense. I apologize for the yelling. Um, guys, how about we all, um, how about we all, oh, Remus is up. Remus, he's eating it. Good, good, good job. Good, good job, Remus. Okay. Um, uh, yes, we will pick this as our rendezvous. I'm gonna set up the pools. <laughs> Remus went to eat the carcass. All right, this is maybe a good time. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just taking a deep breath, y'all. 
<laughs> All right, I'm gonna look at the names and we're gonna name the rendezvous site. <laughs> I've uh, never seen that happen before. <laughs> Never seen that one happen before. Remus do be like my stomach comes first. Peregrine is very low on health. Peregrine needs a hecking nap. Um, the babies were like new baby, new friend. And neither mom was like, no, mo both moms were like, no, not friend, not friend. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we're going to make a new poll. I'm going to look at the, the names here. Oh my heart. <laughs> oh my heart. <laughs> oh my word. All right. Um... So we actually have too many names, so we're going to do two polls, and then between those. Um, Alright, so let's do... Let's start out... Um, Alright. Oops. Alright. I'm going to really quickly add these in. Alright. Oops, that's not right. So we'll have three names, or four names in the first poll, three in the second, probably. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna start the first poll, and then once that one finishes, we'll do the second, we'll run the winners against each other. Um, yeah, my voice does interesting things when I get stressed. <laughs> Remus, it, Remus do be like, I'm hungry, seem like you got this handled. <laughs> yeah, they just picked the grass, they got scared of the mom and hid in the grass with the baby, which scared the mom even more, and that turned out to be a, quite a catastrophe. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, we're only accepting name suggestions for bits, because we already got quite a few at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure, occasionally this game just be heckin' wild, and apparently... Um, Oh my goodness, your cat steals pens and markers and hides them. Yeah, the calf music is still playing. I think there's another one somewhere probably that we'll have to go try and find because the babies are probably pretty hungry and Peregrine is pretty hungry and everybody needs food. All right, Kester and Kodiak were talk talking about their favorite food and the baby turns into food, oh gosh. Yep, that was kind of uh, kind of what, kind of what happened here. I think, uh, I, I never realized that could be that chaotic. I didn't even see the mother there. Okay, so we have our first, our first option is forest fireflies. Um, we will, I'm gonna go ahead and mark these as complete and then we'll do a new poll. So between forest fireflies and whatever wins this. And so, all right. So here are our next options. Whatever one wins, this will run against uh, Firefly Meadows. Or Firefly... <laughs> what? Well, well, okay. Fire, what was it against? What was the name? Because I have no memory. Uh, it was Firefly Meadows, right? Um, or I'm getting that confused with these current ones now. Um, Firefly Forest, Firefly Forest, okay, thank you, Rain. <laughs> thank you, Rain, for keeping track. I don't remember things. <laughs> I actually have a very bad memory, um, and sometimes it, it just likes to be, oh, you know this important information you were trying to keep track of? Yeah, yeet. <laughs> All right, um, uh-oh, hopefully you can open the poll. I'm sorry if you can't. Uh, hopefully it starts working again. Yeah, as Rain said, probably refresh. That may help. All right. Um, let's see. Gosh. Uh, forest fireflies. Okay. Forest fireflies. Um, it versus Sunshine Valley. All right, let's go ahead. We'll make a new poll. Forest fireflies. All right, thank you guys. Vers and then Sunshine Valley. Also, thank you for contributing channel points to the poll. I didn't see if anybody did last time, but if you did, thank you. Um... All right, uh, forest fireflies. Yeah, well, no, it, it, it automatically clears whenever I make a new poll is the problem. And I looked at it and I tried to internalize it and I did not. I had it while it was there. Um, and then it was just gone. <laughs> it immediately left my brain. It's like when you walk into a room. 
and uh, suddenly forget why you're there. It just immediately wiped from my memory. <laughs> All right, so. Um, oh, don't clear it from the recruit. Yeah, that would be smart. Uh, I was trying to keep track of which ones I put in, but yeah, that's that's also a good idea. All right. Um, I should, yeah, wait and see what the winner is, and then that uh, keep those in there. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> there was definitely a bit of a, a bit of a mix up here. The poor puppies are probably like new friend and <laughs> not, neither neither one of their moms quite uh, quite quite liked that idea. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Rip uh, puppies got a bit of a lesson in uh, nature. <laughs> Uh, Firefly Forest? Uh, okay. Um, I don't know. Either way works. If I can change it afterwards and I got it wrong, hopefully it'll, um, hopefully we're getting it right. It was this? Okay. Um, okay. Ye fair. Oh, no. Yeah. All good. All good. Yeah, I completely forgot what it even was, so you're, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> I'm still getting used to the whole, whole uh, streaming thing. So, let's see. Um... All right, forest fireflies it is. Let's go ahead and we will put that in. And here we go. So that is our rendezvous site. And here we go, we've reached the rendezvous. Uh, now we got a loaf at the rendezvous site. We're gonna probably woof the puppies into the grass here again. Now that, okay, Ivy, come on back. Uh, let's, uh, oh, poor Ivy. Ivy just like, I, I made it, I'm napping now. They're tired, so we'll let them sleep. Oh, they are eating the calf. Oh, good, good, good. Remus didn't eat the whole thing. I thought he was going to, but uh, we'll go ahead and hang out with them for a little bit and then we'll go try to find some food for us. That's why there's music playing. If you look in the distance there, you can and see there is a mule deer mama too. It's not like this one, is it? It's not, okay. Thank goodness. That was one of the most wild things I have seen in this game, and I have seen some things. <laughs> I have seen a few things. Oh, thank you for contributing channel points to the poll as well. Um, I do appreciate that. Um, yeah, definitely, if you guys like the names, you can always use them in your own playthroughs too. I don't think anybody probably minds that. Uh, you, I mean, you can even use the names we use <laughs> if you want, <laughs> whatever you prefer. Um, let's go ahead, we'll play with them a little bit more, but I think they're almost done. How are they? Oh, they're so tired, these poor babies. Oh, they're at, like, some of them are at zero percent, oh my goodness. Uh, but they're all pretty full on food, so I am, oh, Kodiak is down in health. I bet he got kicked by the elk a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and woof them into the grass here. I'm also going to clear out from the map the uh, marker here to the Creekside Rendezvous site because, of course, it'll show up now uh, on our, our den map. All right, y'all, time to go to bed. Kodiak <laughs> just deciding to be, uh, he wants his own, he wants his own room. He wants his own, uh, his own, own sleeping grass. And now let's sniff around a little bit. Somewhere over here, there is a baby mule deer as well. Oh, and we've got some nice, uh, nice music there too. Some of the nice rendezvous mu site music, but we're gonna run off a little bit. And somewhere around here, maybe? Maybe there's not? Okay, I'm not sure. Welcome to the stream, everyone. We just had a really chaotic incident involving a, oh, no, there is somewhere, uh, involving a, a very angry mother elk. <laughs> I went out of the way to avoid the elk herd and went straight into, uh, straight into a mother elk here, apparently. I just ran right over, right over to her and uh, happened to, see, like, okay, so I'll spend time searching for the babies. Oh, this is a rendezvous site, too. I guess it, there was one there. Now there's bison in the river, too. Um, I go out of my way to avoid an elk herd. I can never find the calves when I look for them, and when I don't want there to be an elk there, I just trip over a baby. <laughs> is that not just the way of things? All right, let's see. Peregrine's low on health. Oh, goodness, we need to mark some territory. Let's try and do that. We probably are not going to get too much done, but we can get a little bit, hopefully, and maybe do some hunting along the way. Oh, we can, yep, yeah, this works. This works. We'll go ahead and try and take down this mule deer. Um, oh, she may actually have a baby near here. Uh, in any case, she didn't run, and uh, we're going to, we're going to hunt her now. Um, we need food. Peregrine is a little low at the moment, ow, but uh, mule deer are not too bad usually, at least the does. The bucks are not so fun. The bucks are a um, little bit, a little bit tougher to take on. Um, oh, get out of the water, get out of the water. Oh, Peregrine is, ow, low on, uh, low on energy too. 
I think she may have a baby somewhere, probably, because that would be why she's standing her ground. These guys usually don't do this, uh, but hopefully we are going to be able to take her down. All right, I want to branch off a little bit there. Oh, and uh, that made the damage worse, but I want... Oh, these guys are... They'll, they'll be able to get her, I think, probably. Remus is trying. He's trying. Now she's running very far away. All right, we'll try and go after her. Uh, we did reach the rendezvous site after an unexpectedly large amount of hassle. Let's see here. Um, yeah, I think uh, maybe maybe that's uh, maybe Fawn's name get, get, got a little bit misleading as to uh, what 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 is supposed to do with the the babies as a wolf. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, can Remus finish this off because Peregrine is a little bit hurty. Um, that or I guess we'll just try. Peregrine is actually a lot hurdy right now. Oh, Remus is gonna help us. Remus is gonna help us. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. As long as there's not a heckin' bear or anything. Uh, oh, come on. No. One more bite. One more bite. There we go. All right. Just gotta mark some uh, mark some territory now. Um, yeah, health uh, health be a little low. Peregrine kind of got kicked a lot by a mama elk. That was um not the best of situations. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try and just mark a little bit of territory and get back because also Peregrine pretty tired at the moment. Uh, there is a scent post somewhere over here. You know what, we're gonna make a new one. We're making a new one. I'm not running, I'm not running all the way over there. We're, we're just gonna move it. <laughs> um, yeah, knowing, knowing, uh, knowing Wolf Quest, yes, yes it will. Uh, does the cat scratch, does my cat scratch on the side of the litter box, like on... Like, well, she used to she used to tear up the outside of the litter box. Um, Shadow actually isn't a huge scratching post cat, though. Well, because we have, like, the car we have the carpeted what kind. Uh, and, and Beanie used to tear that one up. But Shadow's not a huge scratching post kitty, actually. Uh, everything is fine. Yep, yep, yep. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. This is fine. Nothing bad ever happens. This is fine. Uh, oh, gosh. I hope they don't try to cuddle with a bear cub. I'm going to have some problems if they do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I I still I still can't believe that uh, that that was okay. That 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 did not end with with death for someone, maybe even Peregrine. I I still cannot believe that we heckin lived that. That was wild. Okay, are we Oh, there is one right here. This is it. I'm not hunting another cat. No, I'm, stay away from me. I just want to pee on my scent post. I do not want to get kicked. Is the baby, like, right here? No. Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right, I'm going back. I'm going back to my babies, and I'm going to sleep. And we are going- That's a bear! No, I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm not doing this. This game has left me with trauma. I just want to pee on my sandpost. Yes, all I want to do is pee in peace. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it definitely is. I feel like Peregrine went from being... Like, she definitely was a lot less certain. Now she's a little she's a little bit of a grumpy mama sometimes, but she's a little bit more of a no-nonsense mama as well, I think. Oh my goodness. Oh no, there's a... What are you doing here? I guess this is not at our rendezvous site, but I'm just- now I'm gonna be forever paranoid. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna go back to the rendezvous site, and I'm going to just- everybody's fed, I'm pretty sure everybody's fed, uh, everybody's tired, I'm not gonna try to wake them up, I'm not gonna bother, I'm going to sleep. Hi babies, we're gonna sleep now. We're sleeping now. <laughs> Well, I'd be playing the last litter on accurate. You oh, somebody's going to Remus. Okay, I was not sure what was happening. You know, I'm contemplating leaving that up to a vote, and part of me knows that I'm going to regret that if I do. Why is Puppy walking into the creek? Fawn? Please, kindly don't. I'm contemplating leaving that up to a vote, and I'm kind of afraid that if I do, I'm going to forever have regrets. Fawn wants swim, apparently. Fawn wants swim. I'm thankful that swim in this game does not mean instant death like it did in the old one. 
but my gosh, <laughs> can we not want swim? I don't want to have to go track you down the creek. All right. Um, oh my gosh. All right. How are we doing? How's everybody doing? Pack Affinity is at 78. Let's play a little bit. Peregrine is thankfully close to full health now. Um, oh no. 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 It better not be. Am I being paranoid? I might be being paranoid. Maybe I'm paranoid. Am I actually being paranoid this time? I think I might be. I'm actually relieved by that. <laughs> I'm gonna call the puppies back out. Um. Huh. Okay. Maybe it's fine. Maybe everything's okay. I think I'm just stressed in general. <laughs> I think I'm just just worried in general. Okay, it wants us to go on cooldown. Let's go then back in the in the grass. Back in the grass. Alright. And this should be fine. Okay. That's just okay, that's just a raven. Alright. Alright. Maybe there's nothing. I'm not gonna say no to being wrong, y'all. Just doesn't happen enough for me to be confident in it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, oh gosh. If you guys make me play on accurate. <sighs> I know you guys want to see it. I know you guys want to see it. And I also know I'm going to suffer. <laughs> But I'm tempted to give you guys that chance because that's all everyone has been asking for since I've started playing Wolf Quest. So maybe. If, if all the puppies live this time, we'll consider it. <laughs> I'll say that. Um, and Amelia looks at you like Remus looks at food. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. <laughs> You played on Accurate, and it will give you gray hair. I had an Accurate playthrough in uh, Amethyst Mountain, but we never finished it, because that was when I was trying to stream on YouTube, and I only ever did the first stream. No. Oh, hello? Who are you? Who are you? No. 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 Who are you? I'm going to bite first and ask questions later. Who are you? Who are you? What are you doing? Get out. Who is this? Prospect Peak. Oh my goodness, are you joking? So the danger sense wasn't wrong. There were stranger wolves on the way. That's just what ha- Why are you heading back towards my pups? No, get out. Where is Prospect Peak? They're the blue ones, right? Yes, they're the blue ones. Go back to your territory. Leave. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Frodo was our accurate playthrough. Would you guys, do you guys want to see Frodo come back on this channel, maybe? Continue on and, uh, and, and, and try playing with Frodo again? And, uh, and do his story here, make him kind of a secondary, um, secondary playthrough wolf who does, who does playthroughs on accurate? Do you guys want to see that? <laughs> Frodo in an accurate run would be cool to see, yes. Oh, yeah, for sure. Never underestimate the See, I hate that it was right because she was headed into our territory. She was headed right for the rendezvous site. So, like, what the heck, y'all? What in the heck? I hate that even when I'm not right about immediate danger, I'm still right about impending danger. How is that even possible? This shouldn't be a thing, and it is, and I don't understand it. I'm just, I'm just hecking cursed, apparently. <laughs> Whoa, we jumped the whole creek. Oh, my goodness. Um... Wow, okay, a lot of you guys do want to see that. A lot of you guys do want to see You know, I'll put this to an actual poll. Uh, maybe, so either what we can do is, um, either what we can do is, here, I'll do this. Um, uh, you guys want to see me play on accurate, so I'll put it up this way. Um... Okay, here we go. I'll go ahead and do a poll, and uh, you guys can choose between, basically what we'll do is either we'll have Peregrine's third litter, 
Those are mule deer, okay. Uh, either Peregrine's third litter, and we'll just have her do that one and maybe have the last litter be on accurate, or we'll introduce Frodo's legacy, and um, we'll go ahead and have uh, alternating between normal, more normal playthroughs, more challenge-based playthroughs of Peregrine, and accurate ones with uh, Frodo is the idea. So you have to let me know what you guys think about that. I'm running the poll. We'll see what it says in a minute. I think it's almost done. So yeah, there we go. You guys will have the chance to vote for that and see what you want to do. If you want to incorporate it into the same legacy or have it be two different ones, basically. Um, oh, we've got baby somewhere. Dare we go after it again? If I can see the mother, maybe. Um, uh, it's not the mother. Where is the mother? Do I smell? Oh, I smell. There's the mother. All right. This Is this it? No. All right. <laughs> Somewhere around here there is a baby, and uh, it would be a good, good snack if we can find, but I don't know if we can find. We will try. We will attempt. Attempts will be made. Uh, you, a lot of you guys want- okay, a lot of you guys want to see us do it for, um, for Peregrine's third litter, so, uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, we will do that. Maybe we will bring Frodo's legacy back at some point as well, though, because I know a lot of you guys did like him when I did do streams with him on- or when I did do that one stream with him on YouTube, so maybe we'll bring him back at some point. Um, but, uh, if that's the case, then, uh, we will- we will play Peregrine's last litter on, uh, on Accurate. You, you, you guys like to like to see me see me perish, huh? <laughs> you guys really like to see me perish. I'm just closing out my poll so that I can see what's going on. By the way, um, <laughs> it's okay. I don't don't fault you for it, but my heart. <laughs> I'm going to uh, going to have drama. All right. Um, Fr now, Frodo will Frodo will probably come over at some point. Uh, if you guys do want to see him at some point, but maybe what'll happen is I'll, I might maybe but what I'll probably do because. We're going to have to have basically voting rounds for Peregrine anyway, so we'll have voting rounds to choose her heir. What I'll probably do is alternate off between legacies, and so we'll have Peregrine, and um, then it, we'll switch to Frodo while we're voting on Peregrine's heir, and then we'll vote for Frodo's heir while we're, we're, um, while we're playing with Peregrine's heir, and then we'll kind of switch back and forth, kind of like how I've been doing between the YouTube series, where, of course, I have the main legacy that uh, stemmed from Katari and Terrell in the Origin pack, uh, and then we have the Elements pack legacy as well that we're getting into, and uh, so we started out playing with Aiden, one of the Katari's descendants, and then now we're playing with Pyrrha, and then we're gonna go back to Season 5 and pick the heir for the Pack of Moonlight. So maybe we'll do something like that, but I'll probably move uh, Frodo to be not necessarily, um, not necessarily, uh, you know, I think I know what, I think I know what I'll do with Frodo, actually. Um, I think I know what I'll do with Frodo when we bring him here. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see what we do with this. Um, if you guys wish to inflict a challenge on me, I will give you the chance to determine how difficult that is going to be. Uh, your cat is running around the house going crazy. Oh no, is it crazy time? Cats do like to do that. Oh goodness. Also, if you're heading out, catch you later. Thank you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, you can always catch the stream later afterwards, even if you do miss it. And I gotta put up some of the old streams on YouTube. I'm a little behind with that, but they will be going up there too. And I think all the ones that are um, haven't gone up on YouTube yet are still on Twitch. So yeah. Oh my goodness. Every evening, same time. Yep, that's classic cat for you. It just uh, be the crazy hours. It just be the crazy hours. <laughs> oh my goodness. Zoomy time indeed. <laughs> I just, sorry, I just see the uh, Remus crack ship with any type of food. <laughs> oh, Remus, I love you, man. <laughs> he's such a goober. What? I, I love how he's turned into such a character, but at the same time, he just, he's gonna give me a heart attack one of these days. <laughs> Every, every one of the, the mates in this game has been such a character, too. It's unreal. Like, all of them have found something that they've kind of become known for, it feels like. Because, of course, Nimbus had his little um, run-in with the bison. <laughs> and I just love how the game introduces so much personality and how there actually is variation. How there's, like, that's, that's built into the game now. It's really, really cool to see. Uh, and I love how they all kind of have those little, little traits. Oh, all right, let's see. Um, 
Oh wow, yeah, I do, I do, yeah, I did. I used to stream on YouTube, I don't anymore. I'm glad you came over from YouTube, though. Thank you for, uh, thank you for joining us here. Yeah, I started uh, streaming back at, uh, well, and then mid-December I started streaming, and I've been doing it on here since. So yeah, we have our secondary legacy over here. So we need legacies apparently. <laughs> so well, we finished this letter today. We've got about an hour left of stream time, and the puppies are at 17 pounds. So it looks like we may do it. Well, we'll see. Maybe, maybe. But um, we'll see. Oh, it's not actually our territory yet. We'll see. Uh, it's a little bit early to say just yet. Um, did I pee on their post just to pee with them? Um, short answer, yes. Long answer, it actually diminishes their claim. It actually makes the post disappear. And so you can reduce their claim by quite a lot in some cases to claim it completely for yourself uh, if you manage to pee over the sun post. So yeah, it's actually more efficient to do it that way. <laughs> um... Uh, we will we will definitely see. We've had a lot of characters pop up throughout both litters. It seems like a lot of uh, a lot of puppies. Oh, I see Elk Mama. We'll we'll take a brief look and see. I don't think we may want to do. It, it sometimes is easier just to do a normal hunt. Honestly, I found um, sometimes the the calves are easier to bring back. You know what? We're gonna do a normal hunt. This is a this is a buck though, so I'm not gonna do that. I. Uh, the buck mule deer give me trust issues because they are so deceptively difficult to take down. Like, they're not that hard, but they're just hard enough that it can be hard for a wolf that has lowered health, and which Peregrine does. If we look here, you can see her health is a minus one. Uh, it can be a little bit extra hard for them to take down. So, yeah. <laughs> um, Alright, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's nice. They, cha they did change the timing on the scent post. And it does help a lot. How? 21. Yeah, it's worth going to track down. Alright, we will look around a little bit, though, because I can see the, um, there is a mama mule deer here. I think. Probably. I didn't actually get the music, though. That is a mama mule deer, though. Right? Did it not? It just, oh, there's the music. Okay. Guess maybe it's over here? I don't know. I don't know why the music didn't show up right away, but uh, in any case, we will sniff around, poke through some of these grass patches, and see. We do have to start heading back, though, because the babies are going to be getting a little bit... Oh, there it is! Babies are going to be getting a little bit antsy if we don't. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and we will, um... I guess, you know, we're, if we don't eat this, Remus will, so we're going to eat this. Um, hello? Yeah, I didn't think so. But it is nice that they updated the time uh, for sure. Oh, is there another mama somewhere around here? Um, let's see. Do I don't know. I don't know what coats they do or don't have uh, in Slab Creek currently. Uh, I think, well, I can't remember. The ones that we've seen, I think I've recognized the coats on most of them. Um... Yeah, that probably is the problem with the idea of adding in other wolves' pups, is that uh, it could get a little bit dramatic and a little bit tragic, because of course we've seen what the stranger wolves try to do to our pups, and I'm not sure that the, uh, as interesting as it would be to see stranger wolf pups, I'm not sure if that's something that the Wolf Quest team wants to put on the player. <laughs> it's a little bit different when it's the wolves attacking you rather than you being the aggressor. And even though that is the way nature is, it's a little bit of a um, dramatic thing to be thinking about. So yeah, I'm not sure if the team would want to put that in or not. Uh, catch you later, does you are heading out. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. Uh, don't forget, you can always catch the remainders of it on here, after, even after it goes up, even if you don't catch it all live. And it does go up on YouTube, too. I'm going to be working on getting the backlog up as soon as I can. I just have to uh, develop a good way of doing that. This week has been a little bit of a weird week for me because I had to juggle some scheduling stuff. So I'm trying to get that a little bit more set up, but uh, it um, did take... It is taking me a little bit to get used to things and to figure out a schedule that's going to be well balanced for me so that I'm not neglecting either my, first of all, first and foremostly my own mental and uh, physical well-being, but also so that I'm not going to be neglecting either Twitch or YouTube. Oh, there's a carcass. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go eat here then. Get out of here, coyotes. This is gonna be mine. Um, but yeah. 
So that uh, takes me a little bit to figure that out sometimes. Peregrine just plunging face first in the carcass pretty much. Um, I'm doing all right. Uh, I definitely am. Oh, we're full. All right. Remus, do you need to eat? You always need to eat. He is eating. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm doing all right. Uh, again, it's kind of a balancing act. I'm still learning to make sure that everything's going to be all right. And uh, I recognize when I'm starting to get myself a little too stressed out, but I think I have figured out some things this week that will hopefully help that for the future. And it's, you know, it's a learning process. Uh, sometimes you got to learn to push yourself. Sometimes you got to learn when to scale back. And uh, those are both important skills to have. And I'm not perfect at either one of them, uh, but I'm learning. And that's what matters, I would say. Um, yeah, again, it would be, it would be interesting. I know they do have the bear cubs in the game, which is really cute to see, but, uh, I think, I don't know, I don't know how much they'd be keen on introducing player instigated conflict like that. Like with the bears, you don't want to pick a fight with a bear. There's enough of a deterrent there that it's not, it's not a super huge thing for the player, but, um, depending on the other animal that, that might introduce more of a, a pressure on the player. I want to turn off the other rendezvous sites because <laughs> I can't see which one's mine. Um, and I'm not sure if that's the direction the team really wants to take it or not, I guess. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm glad your cat, I'm glad your cat's eye is doing better. I'm so glad to hear that. I know we've, we've been worried for a while. I'm very, very glad that, um, that that's going better. Very glad to hear that. Um, you're gonna paint your cat blue. <laughs> no, no, not, not those. Uh, not typos. Misreading, misreading. It can be buck wild sometimes. I have. Oh my goodness, my brain will occasionally just, especially if I'm tired, just combine words and into something that totally changes the uh, meaning of the sentence when I read it. And sometimes it takes me a bit to catch it and to register that. Wait, that didn't make any sense. <laughs> And then I have to go back and see what what the heck I just read wrong. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Brains do be wild and sometimes they just be like that. Yep, that's, I think it's a pretty common thing. Alright, this time we only have a meat chunk, I'm afraid, but we have some extra food if anybody is still hungry. And uh, it's good to see the babies again. It's good to be back. They all are very brown in coloration, actually. They all have very brown tinted coats. I did not recognize that. I guess Remus has a bit of a brown tinted coat, but it feels stronger in this litter than in the past one. So I don't know. They all do, I think, have, it does seem like they all have pretty dark coats though. So I think there's a good chance that uh, they are all going to have, uh, ha have dark coats, which is pretty cool. Sometimes that happens too. It's just like, do you need to remember what you're saying? No, apparently not. No, I don't. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Yeah, that would be wild if it just RNG to have all black coats in one litter and all brown in the next. Sometimes the RNG do be wild in, and uh, it just depends. But I think we had all black coats in our previous litter too. Um, I think we, we did, uh, they all had the black coat trait. I think I'm trying to determine, oh my goodness, guys, why don't we, why don't we go back in the, uh, the grass for a minute here? Everybody's kind of scattering and it's making me jumpy. <laughs> um, oh, everybody's eating. It looks like Remus regurgitated a little bit, which is good. They just decided that they could eat before going in the grass. All right. How much more food does everybody actually need? Um, quite a lot. Okay, a lot a lot of puppies do need to eat a good bit more, so I'll call them back out. Uh, it just makes me a little bit nervous when everybody's running to the edge of the rendezvous site. Um, RNG do go burr. <laughs> it do indeed. All right, can we, can we feed? Hello? There we go. There we go. We can feed Kestrel. That's a good thing. There we go. There we go. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um. The woof does sound a little bit sneezy. It's kind of that woof kind of sound. Um, Ivy? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I see danger! I see danger! Puppies in the puppies back in the grass now! Puppies back in the grass now! I do not want to get charged by this thing! No! 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 Not today! No! 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 Nope! I don't like this! Uh, Firefly! What in the heck, though? 
Please, back, woof, no. Oh my gosh. Uh, ha, 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 please leave, please leave, please leave. I do not want to get charged by the heckin' bear. I don't want to get charged by the heckin' bear. Uh, uh, I'm not liking the new bear rates. Oh boy. <laughs> We're good. We're okay. Everything's fine. This is fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty much. What is this episode? Chaos, apparently. This is fine. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, oh, my. Yeah, Firefly just be out, really be out here like, hi, new friend. <laughs> oh, no, Firefly. <laughs> Ivy, too. Ivy was wandering away in that direction, I, I think. Oh, Ivy has a stick. Aw, oh my goodness, I hope that's not, the, the stranger wolves will leave us alone now. I'm gonna bring you back just a little bit. The girls this litter are feral. I mean, honestly, all of them are, but it has been Ivy. No, actually, they, well, Tyga too, a little bit, but Ivy, Firefly, and Fawn are all just absolute oh. mad lasses. <laughs> they really are. They just go for it. There's no hesitation. Speaking of Fawn, Fawn needs food. Let's make sure you get enough of that, because I do want to go sleep, because we're running out of uh, energy. Uh, why are all the kids so crazy? Because both Peregrine and Remus are very bold. <laughs> That's why they are like that. They they got the combination of their parents' genetics, and it was a wild one. Uh, Fawn, the troublemaker indeed. Fawn and Ivy and Firefly just all wandering off all the gosh dang time. They're the terrible trio. <laughs> the terrible trio of chaos. Yeah, bear, no bear, yes. I'm scared because the bear is so... The bears, they can hit you, but if they if they run... Like, if they run you over, like, when it was coming in at top speed like that, if they hit you like that, depending on the difficulty you're on... On accurate, that can instantly kill you if you're not at full health. And Peregrine has lowered health to begin with, so I didn't want to get hit by that. I really didn't. Uh, I was not vibing with that idea. Fawn, uh, honey, let's not do this, please. Let's go back in the grass, everybody. I want you to sleep in the grass. There's no penalty to having them in the grass now. And uh, it does certainly cut down on the amount of time they spend running absolutely amok. Okay, they've split off into groups of three, that's fine. We're gonna take a little bit of a nap ourselves. I think Peregrine very much could use a moment to, uh, to de-stress because, man, that was, uh, that was sure some chaos. You had to fight a bear at, like, 10% health on accurate. Oh, that's scary as heck. Oh my gosh, I'm glad your mate did most of the work in that. Um... Oh my goodness, yeah, Fawn the Troublemaker indeed, yeah, I, I, oh my goodness. <laughs> the babies are too curious about other babies and other animals in general. They're just too excitable. Alright, oh, that was Remus walking off. Remus was amazing. Remus doesn't have fear. I didn't even see how low his health got. His, uh, hopefully he didn't take too much damage, but he went for it. Peregrine was trying to get the puppies away. Yeah, he is for sure. He's got his quirks, but honestly, he is a very, very, very good mate overall. Uh, very, very not afraid to step in for sure. And I very much appreciate that about him. He definitely helps quite a lot, uh, especially in all the fights where Peregrine has stayed to defend the den and had Remus go and help the, um, or go and deal with the fight itself. Uh, they make a great team, I think. Uh, and he certainly is a very, um, very, his boldness definitely comes in handy at times. It, it has created a, a litter of incredibly wild puppies, but it also certainly has helped us on many occasions. Oh, yeah, he did do a heck and flip. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a clip on the channel. I should make it an actual highlight, but I'm pretty sure Rain clipped that uh, when Remus did a heck and flip. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man. <laughs> Peregrine, her puppies, and their extended cousin, the bear. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, yep. Alright, where- how are we doing? Everybody's- the food's okay. Some of them are higher than others on food. Sleep's okay. as mostly the affinity that needs to be a little bit higher before we send them in the grass and go mark territory for the day. Um, oh, Taiga, Firefly, please. How is our... Okay, we actually need to mark some of our upper territory, too. We gotta expand this eventually. But, yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, we're almost there. I think we'll move them into the grass. 
grass again after this. Just make sure. All right. Everybody in the grass. Everybody in the grass. I'm not looking behind me in case there's anything coming in. Um, I think we're good. All right, Kestrel. Kestrel's just vibing. Kestrel, though. Yeah, there we go. Go join your siblings, and we will head out for the day. Um, let's head off this way, and we'll we'll start out this direction. We'll start out this direction and see. Um, we'll see what's going on. Yeah, all of Peregrine's children are way too uh, fascinated with meeting the local wildlife. They're all way too curious for their own good. It's a problem. <laughs> oh, every everything and everybody is a friend, and it needs to not not be. <laughs> Peregrine is just trying so hard, especially especially with this litter, but even in the last one a little bit. So trying so hard to teach her babies not friend. Not friend. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um Oh my goodness, yeah. I could I could see uh Firefly being a little bit too curious about the bears. Uh, Firefly, oh you no no. Firefly inherited Peregrine's tendency to trip over bears. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, this makes me scared. <laughs> I have fears. I have so many fears, so many concerns. <laughs> Alright, I know it's still kind of strong. I just wanted to start out over here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it feels like certain packs do definitely develop grudges against one another. For Peregrine, it definitely is Crevice Lake uh, due to the events of the previous litter. With this one, uh, or with the, with the others, I think I know, well, Pura has been definitely duking it out with Junction Butte. And we'll have to see what our- oh, hello, Elk. Uh, we'll have to see what our other, <laughs> our other heirs end up with. Many Elk, my gosh. Uh, welcome back. We just fought a bear. It was scary. I thought we were going to die. <laughs> oh no, I hope we don't have a pup that's like fascinated by cougars. <laughs> oh, I'm scared too because I've never had a pup actually get snatched really. Like I've never had one that's actually gotten like started to get carried off and we had to chase it down. And I'm, I'm very scared for whatever point that happens because I'm certain I'm not immune to that. It's just a matter of time and it's going to happen when I don't expect it. I thought this might be the time, but uh, apparently not. I'm just worried for when it does be. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. On the good news, I'm finally feeling a little bit more calm and a little bit less tense. Finally, uh, not not the not the elk trying to attack us this time. Just uh, just bears. All right, how are we doing? So we need to. Okay, we gotta go up. We'll start working our way around this way. Um, <laughs> the tinkles. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep. Um, yeah, indeed. Oh, that. Speaking of cougars, how about you do not? Don't want you messing around here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yeah, oh man, you want to know what Shadow did to me recently? You, you said your, your cat waited for, for you to get up and then took your spot. That, oh my goodness, one time recently, Shadow, I, so I was laying on the couch watching a movie, Shadow came over to me, started meowing at me, she wouldn't stop meowing, like she stood right in front of my face so I couldn't see the TV, wouldn't stop meowing, I was like, what's the matter, baby? And so I sat up, and no sooner do I sit up than she just moves right into the spot where my head is, and just, where, where my head was, and just plunks down. So she was meowing at me because she wanted me to sit up so that she could lay there. <laughs> I, I, I felt very used. <laughs> I felt very used by that. I was like, really, kitty? Really? <laughs> this is what you're gonna do? <laughs> oh, animals are great sometimes. Um, oh my goodness. Oh, I'm trying to keep it with chat as we're running. Oh, I'm, I'm barreling straight towards Bull Elk Herd. Let's maybe not do that. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Yeah, baby want warm spot screen to take indeed that doobie shadow that doobie shadow your cat likes to lay down right away <laughs> yeah if he oh oh there's a moose okay we can have, we can have moose calf we can have moose moose can be on the menu oh it's raining okay uh yeah cats do love to uh, wait for you to be not comfortable before they make themselves comfortable in a way that you can't avoid um, moose for dinner indeed for dinner indeed if we can get in there this moose is not making that easy 
but uh, these guys are a pretty good size. Ooh, let's maybe not get kicked, though. Oh, Remus is just like, oh, I'm gonna go for the mom. He's being a good distraction, for sure. Um, there we go. Ooh, let's not get kicked. We're getting there. All right, ooh, watch out, watch out. There we go. All right, there's the mother again. Remus really just, he, he, he did good, though. Like, I mean, that gave us a good opening. But, uh, oh, I don't want to run right in the boost. That's not what I'd like to do. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, we didn't even get hit. Wow. All right. Um, oh, he's going to howl. Nice. Um, <laughs> let's take on the big one. More food, right? Yeah, pretty much. That do be what's going through Remus's mind right now. Um, yeah, I think, too, uh, yeah, I actually don't mind the thunderstorms now that we can't have a flooded den either. They're not as, well, they might be a little bit bad at the, uh, at the den, or at the, the rendezvous site. Oh, there's a little bit of food left for Remus, but really not much. We'll find something else, though. That's why I felt okay eating that. Um, but, uh, it, it does lower visibility, but that's not so terrible out here if we're doing all right at the moment. Um, it is very, very, very pretty, though. Uh, there is also on the Wolf Quest Knowledge Base, I'm pretty sure, which I don't have a link to. I should probably set that up actually as a Moo command. Maybe I'll do that in the future, because it would be nice to have for when we're playing Wolf Quest. Um, oh, there's a den. I forgot that that was one. Um, but, oh, I think this is right above our old den, actually. Uh, but there is an article there on computer specs as well, and I think they- Oh! Lightning! Hello! <laughs> they do, uh, they do definitely list, uh, I think they list them on Steam as well. Can the rivers flood? So, yes, but no. There's, like, a time of year when the rivers are flooded, but it's not like- I don't think it's a dynamic thing, I think it's just the map is that way at that time of year. The lightning is so pretty, I love lightning. <laughs> uh, we didn't, we got, we did actually get a storm, and it actually may storm again, but we didn't have any lightning uh, during this one. But there was a while ago, like maybe a month back, there was a huge lightning storm here, which is just absolutely wild. We don't normally get those, um, but occasionally we do. And uh, it was really spectacular to see. Hello, Moose. I see Moose, Moose Trail. Three hours ago. Let's go looking for that because we'll see if we can get in there. Oh my goodness, lightning. Um, we'll go looking for another one. Um, and we will see. Uh, but yeah, it was really, really cool to see. My only regret about that is it was one of the rare times we had a storm late at night. And so I was trying to sleep and all of a sudden, boom, lightning in my window. <laughs> and I was like, oh, bright flashes make it difficult to actually get some heck and sleep. But uh, it was very, very neat to be able to see. All right, we got to probably head back pretty soon here, too. I don't want to go super duper far. We're going to have to go back into that anyway. Oh, did the moose turn? The moose did turn. Uh, but yeah, overall, I really, really like lightning. Lightning is cool. <laughs> um, I love drawing it as well. It is... It is one of my one of my favorite things to to include in art because it, it lets me go absolutely ham with with lighting, and I love it. I will take any excuse I possibly get to do the dramaticest lighting and shading that I can, and the lighting is very fun for that. So, uh, uh oh, uh, you're, yeah, it looks like if you're having problems try refreshing your stream, it looks like everything good on my end. Oh, that is. It was a bull moose. Okay, then. We spent a good amount of time tracking, and it wasn't even one we can eat. Darn it. Um, but yeah, if, uh, if, you're, if, if you're having trouble trying refreshing, it looks like the stream is okay on my end. Which, again, with Twitch, if it's having problems, there's two places those problems can occur. It can either be between me and Twitch, which is what oftentimes if everybody is having a problem, it's because the stream goes bad on my end. Um, oh, is that? That's Mama Mule Deer, I think. Spend a huge amount of time looking around. We'll spend a little bit so you can find some food for Remus. I kind of, well, I'd like to find another moose cap, honestly, but I don't know if we'll be able to. Um, but yeah, it either goes bad between me and Twitch, which is going to cause problems for everyone, uh, and is generally less common. I generally have pretty decent internet, so it's not usually where the problems end up being. Um, or it's between Twitch and you, which, unless Twitch itself is having a problem, uh, it can usually be fixed by refreshing or messing with your own internet. Uh, so a lot of the time that's what happens, and it does, Twitch does tell me if, if I'm having a problem on my end, and it doesn't look like there's one at the moment, so if, uh, hopefully refreshing will fix it. 
Let's, we should have probably just hunted the lone mule deer because yeah, we're gonna, yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna go hunt whatever this mule deer turns out to be. Hopefully not a buck, but we're just gonna go hunt this mule deer and uh, get some food. I think, oh, I see mule deer scent trail somewhere. Right, right here, mule deer 50 minutes ago. I think this is one that'll actually be more mobile though. Alright, somewhere around here. Oh, I think running this way, it looks like. Oh, yep, I see them. Alright, we'll go ahead. Oh, it is does. That's good. That's good. Yeah, usually uh, streams streams abide by the rule of turn it off again. It's <laughs> turn it off and on again as well. That, that's kind of the, the rule of tech support that does apply to streams as well. Oop, watch out. There we go. Oh, it snowed for you. It's actually stuck the other day. That's really, really cool. It snowed here on Monday, we got flurries, but um, they did not stick, nothing Nothing stayed on the ground. It was still very cool to see, though. Ooh, you live near where there's avalanches. That is freaky. Uh, avalanches do scare me a lot, probably, because they're something I have, like, absolutely no experience with. Uh, they definitely are a little bit unnerving, and I would not ever want to be caught in one. All right, I'm going to let Peregrine's energy regen just a little bit. There we go. All right, let's eat quickly and then get back. I want to make sure that Remus gets to eat his fill as well, because uh, we definitely, oh, there we go, all right, we got a meat chunk, because we need to get back to the, uh, the biddies. Is that, that's just coyotes hanging out. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh, you got, your wolf just got attacked by a moose for no reason. That's not good. Moose can be kind of mean. Oh man, you live where there's a lot of tornadoes, dang. Yeah, tornadoes are another one that freaks me out. Um, well, honestly, I mean, I'm gonna say that about pretty much every natural disaster. <laughs> <laughs> most of them, uh, most of them. Oh, I like that it says hidden and not in den. Like, it actually differentiates. That's really cool. That's a nice detail. Um, what was I even looking for? Well, there, we're not going to finish the litter today, probably. Uh, we'll probably be very, very close to it, though. Uh, we'll have to do it next week. I wanted to look at their food, though. I wanted to look at Remus's food. He's full, so we can head back now. Uh, and head back with speed we should, because we are a little ways away from the den. Whoa, lightning! And, uh, or not from the den, but from the rendezvous site, and uh, the babies are gonna leave soon, and I may have stayed out longer than I should have. Um, oh man. Let's see, oh, you get hurricanes. Oh boy, yeah, most- oh, very pretty lightning. Most, um, <laughs> most, uh, natural disasters- mostly everywhere has some kind of natural disaster, and most of them do unnerve me, admittedly. You heard about a monk who had a cat fall asleep on his sleeve, so he opted to cut it off so he didn't disturb the cat. That's peak cat ownership right there, honestly. Like, that, 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 that is, that really is. <laughs> Alright, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. That's scary. I hope you guys were all right in the hurricane, because that sounds very, very scary. Um... Huh, there's either a lot of snow or no snow, no in-between, did it? Oh, she just got a little stuck. Hello? Oh, that's just coyotes. Oh, they're hanging out near the near the puppies. I hope that's not a problem. I hope that's not a problem. Alright. Let's see here. Oh man. Wow, that's pretty wild. Let's see over here, we'll see bubbles. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> Certain places are very prone to having unpredictable weather, it seems. And it certainly can be a time. I know Yellowstone is interesting in that it can actually get snow at any time of the year because it's so high up. It's very in the mountains. Um, so that's why sometimes even in game you'll see snow in the middle of the summertime, even when you have the puppos. And uh, sometimes that will happen. I'm a little bit... Hmm. I'm not sure... If I'm being paranoid, or something's coming. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was. If I'm just nervous about the coyotes lurking around over there that we just chased and ran through. Tyga? Tyga, can we not? Tyga, can we not? The pups are indeed adorable. I do love them. How are we doing on food? How are we doing on food? Fawn needs a little bit more. Is there a... Did, we, did everybody... No. Everybody, well, you know, I'm just gonna be safe and woof them in the grass just to make sure everything's good. Especially because it is stormy and there's reduced visibility. I think we're alright, 
but... Oh, there... Okay, I think we're okay. I couldn't tell if that was the beginning of concern or if I was just worried about the kindness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Very, very stormy, though. Very stormy indeed. Um, everybody's hanging out still. Everything's good, I think. I'm just going to keep a careful eye out. And Remus is heading off, it looks like. He's going to be chilling out somewhere. What am I seeing over there? It's just suspicious stumps, I think. Ivy, don't go too far, dear. <laughs> don't wander all the way away. I don't want you disappearing anywhere. Man, there's a lot of lightning. Alright, what? Everybody's doing alright on food now. I think we probably ought to get some sleep. Oh, Ivy's coming back as well. I think we ought to get some sleep. Oh, and the storm is clearing up, it looks like. So we'll go ahead. Oh, hello. In the, uh, in the, in the grass, please. In the grass. Everybody in the grass. Everybody in the grass. I see them coming in. Yep, I had a feeling you punks were up to no good. There you go. Get out. Oh, are you coming back for more? That's not a smart idea. You want to leave. Go ahead and give him a nice raised tail in warning. I had a feeling you two were going to cause trouble. Even Remus is, like, not bothering with them right now. Alright, everybody's still staying in the grass. I don't want to run too far towards them. Are they leaving it? They're not. I'm not running too far toward them because, uh... I don't want them to run past me. Are they leaving for real now? No, nope, they're still coming back for more. Alright. The reason I use the emote wheel, by the way, instead of Kodiak, how about we don't? Kodiak, 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 it is not safe yet, dear. Kodiak, thank you. Um, the reason I'm not running super far towards them is because there are two, and if I chase one, the other could run right past. We have had that happen before. Taiga! <laughs> Taiga doesn't even care! Taiga's just, like, passed out! <laughs> Taiga's just vibing. Taiga's like, we're good, we're fine. He's not even all that hidden, okay. Oh my goodness, look at this goober! Look at this goober! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at him! Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, Tyga, he's just like, I'm fine, everything's good. Mom's got this, Dad's got this, we're good. I'm thankful for the vote of confidence. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, pred in predator instincts active, active again. Predator instincts, <laughs> he worked again. <laughs> yep, Tyga, nothing is wrong, I'm gonna sleep. He, he's tired, he's tired, he's napping, doesn't... Doesn't matter if there's coyotes coming, he's taking a nap. That's, he's got his priorities, right? <laughs> Y'all hear something? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's great. That's great. He he might be one of our more chill pup. Well, I say that. Maybe that is a function of his boldness. Because I say that, but he is one of the wanderers. Oh, and Fawn has a stick. She's chilling out with her stick. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. Is... How is everybody doing on food? Everybody's fine, let, uh, except for Tyga. Tyga, you were sleeping through mealtime. You could probably stand to uh, get another bite to eat. Oh, I think he is. Fawn? Fawn and Kodiak, you two are, are, are making me nervous at the moment. Where is... Where? Oh, the puppies are eating, I think, still. I'm gonna woof them back in the grass temporarily because I would like to finish the food if they're, they're already full, and I think they are. If we look, yeah, they're all at, uh, they're all at, in the, uh, high 90s. So they're good, they're good. Um, oh, that's so cute! Aw, kitties are great, kitties are great. I'm just gonna finish up this. That's just a shadow. Okay. Just the shadow of some tall grass. We're, we're okay. This is good. But we are gonna take a sleep. And catch a nap of her own. Follow Tyga's example. <laughs> is that him again? Oh my goodness, he really just crashes and, and just chills out, huh? That's so great. Oh my goodness. I, I don't know if that's Tiger or, or one of his siblings who looks a lot like him. There's like four puppies that look very similar. That is indeed Tiger. Oh, everybody stay. Everybody stay. Hello. I have been interrupted. My sleep has been interrupted. Where are you? Where are you coming from? Did they leave? 
I don't think they left. No, they did not leave. Get out, you two. No, we ain't doing this. Remus dealing with it. There we go. Junction Butte this time. Man, they must have gotten tired of bothering Pira. All right, time to uh, time to sleep. Time to sleep again. We will give another another bit of a bit of a howl. But uh, Remus is very very good about being right on that and uh, really jumping in when there is potential danger. He does a very, very good job and lets uh, Peregrine hang back to defend the puppies. They really have figured out a very, very good method. Uh, poor Kodiak. <laughs> yeah, Kodiak. Uh, no, K Kodiak. Uh, Kodiak did get himself into a little trouble. Oh, it's raining again. Um, we shall see. We shall see. Yeah, so I think the, the danger leaving music sometimes glitches, and I think that's what happened there. I think that's why we got that when we did. All right, how is everybody doing on food and affinity? Affinity is pretty high. Food's all right. We do need to feed them, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Maybe we will get to. Uh, maybe we will get to see the puppies grow up this episode. We still have a little time left, uh, but we're gonna run this way, I think. And um, they, they. Nope, Firefly. Firefly, I love you, but please, uh, <laughs> please, no, no, Ivy. The girls are awake, and Kestrel and Kodiak now too. Oh boy. All right, guys, gotta stay in there. Just stay and rest for a little bit. They're they're no longer tired. They're ready to be awake, but their parents need to take that uh, that moment to go out and get food. So we'll go up this way. I see where Junction Butte was coming in from, but we need to mark this whole edge of the territory. Um, <laughs> I, I am indeed a bit of a paranoid parent, but in fairness, most of the time, I've been right. <laughs> most of the time, somehow, I've been right. I don't know how it works, guys. I couldn't tell you how it works. <laughs> I just can tell. Oh, that's a fox. We're good. Play a litter without a den. That certainly would be an interesting challenge to stay on the run most of the- or to stay on the- on the move most of the time and- and uh, rely on the nomadic life. That would be very interesting for sure. We'll have to see. Kodiak is the good boy. <laughs> he is indeed. He's very chill. He's a uh, he's chilling. He's vibing. Oh, and it looks like um, it looks uh, it looks like Remus is hanging back. So I think we are hopefully gonna be okay. Hopefully we don't get into too many fights. But I don't think too much is happening. I think we're everything looks pretty weak along the border here. So I don't think we're gonna be in too many situations where there's gonna be a lot of hostile stranger wolves. We just gotta make sure we hunt and probably bring back a um, a baby like a, a full maybe a full moose calf if we can, uh, so that both Remus and the puppy get a good amount of food. Yeah, Firefly do be like, but mom, I want to come too. Uh-oh. Uh Who's this? Who are you? Toad Flax Dispersals. Alright. I don't really have the energy to go and chase you out. You can... If you cause me problems, I will, but I don't think I'm going to uh, go out of my way yet to go on the attack. Alright, let's see. Um... Yeah, Firefly is, I think she is a very, she seems like a very curious wolf. She just wants to make friends. She, she hasn't quite caught on to not everything is friend yet. Oh, hey, the uh, mule deer fawns are here. The mule deer fawns are here. They're up and running now. We are going to get snack then. And, um, oh, oh, ow, a little bit of, little bit of pain, but not too bad. All right, there we go. We will uh, get food. That was pretty quick. We'll try and bring down, well, potentially a moose calf if we can. If these guys are up and running, I don't know if you can still carry the moose calves, but uh, we will try and see, perhaps. Um, let's see. Hey, welcome to the stream. Uh, we have had a rather chaotic day, but, or, yeah, well, set of days in game, but uh, everything's going all right for the time being. We uh, dealt with some stranger wolves and coyotes, but so far so good. We are, uh, we are doing all right. All the puppies are alive, which is better than last time. Uh, we have made it further than we did the time before, so that's a good thing. Um, I hope that it stays that way, and if it does, I don't know for sure, so depending on, so I do have to leave at four, depending on if, because where are the puppies at now? Some of them are still at 18. So if we finish at this point, I don't think we will look at the, um, I don't think we'll, we'll look at the puppies right now. Maybe what we can do is either on Tuesday, we can take a little time and look at the puppies then. Maybe what we'll do, actually, maybe that's what we do is we'd swap, uh, Wolf Quest to be earlier in the week and then, um, we could do our planet 
as you stream later. We'll see. Uh, or I'll do it in the form of a video because I think, hello? Who goes there? Prospect Peak Wolf Pack. Uh-oh. Oh, I guess this is their territory, though. So we're just going to, um, I, I, Peregrine doesn't need to worry about chasing them just yet. Uh, but she does need to worry about this. Oh my gosh, um, uh, maybe we do need to be worried about this. Maybe we do need to be very worried about this. Okay, can we get up? No, we can't get up. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, we are going to run to the border and call for, uh, Remus. Remus, help! <laughs> I don't want to be here. I don't want to deal with this. Uh, so they are very much, um, very much here. Oh, they're still chasing. That's three wolves. Peregrine is not dealing with that on her own. I did not expect there to be three! Oh my gosh! I thought maybe we'd run into one or two. I didn't think the, uh, territory was that strong. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, you can carry moose calves, but now you walk with them instead of being able to run. Okay. We're gonna call for help. Um, alright. Ah, uh, yeah, everybody be chill while Rain's not here. <laughs> My goodness oh my goodness <laughs> oh gosh all right so I think Remus should come help us now we're just going to uh, keep an eye on things we will uh, we'll sit here that doesn't look like the most comfortable no nope, that didn't look the most comfortable we will uh, kind of keep a lookout and when uh, Remus gets here we will run back in there and fight because I'm not dealing with three wolves solo. I'm not doing that. That is not a, a good option. This is not something that I want to happen. And uh, this is something we do We do need to get in there. How strong is the territory? 67. So I guess they must have just come to reinforce it. Yeah, cautiously hides behind rock indeed. Okay, you can run with them and it looks weird. Oh my goodness. Uh, she's back. She's back. Um... Now she just had to step out for a minute. Welcome back, Rain. Uh, it looks like things didn't get too crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, Lynx would. Lynx would. Terra would absolutely go for three wolves solo. Peregrine, Peregrine would not, though. Peregrine does not want to do that. Uh, she's going to sit here and, uh, and wait for her mate to come assist her, which it looks like he is. There he is. He's come running. Oh, thank you, Remus. These two do make a wonderful duo. They are honestly one of my, one of my favorite wolf quest pairs. Well, I can't even say that because all of them have been great. They've all had such great dynamics, but I do love Peregrine and Remus. They they certainly are a very dynamic duo when it comes to... Oh, and it's raining again. Every time it rains. It rains all the time now, which is nice, but uh, yee, I'm glad we don't have to deal with den floods anymore. Now we go in and uh, we fight. All right. Yeah, Remus be like, where's the food? We can eat. Uh, we can eat once, uh, once we claim the scent post. We need once we claim the scent post. We will go do that. We're probably gonna get jumped again, unless they just straight up left their territory. No, I'm not doing that. Don't want to deal with that. Bear, stay away. Better not. Better not come mess with me again. Better not come do that. Oh, there is moose. There is moose. I oh, there they are. There these punks are. All right. We've got to be kind of careful because this is a three wolf fight. Oh, that looks like a different coat. That that does look like a different coat. So I think maybe the uh, new coats are in game then. Unless maybe that's Grizzard. No, actually that might be Grizzard. I'm not actually sure. I do see a moose though. I do see a moose with a cap. Oh, get off me. Get off me. Not doing that. That's not what I want. This one. Oh, get off. Get off. All right, we're going to get some stamina. Try it. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. I want to, uh, oh boy. I need to, uh, oh, there. Alright, we can, oops. Probably attack here. There we go. Alright, I think. Looks like the others are on Remus right now, so Peregrine's got some time to deal some damage. If we can, uh, if we can attack this one quite a lot then oh they're all on remus oh my goodness all right we're gonna run right in oh i think this white one's on us again though that one's kind of been circling us oh yep indeed i don't know which one that is but uh been kind of circling us for a little while here and i think oh get off oh no they're trading targets they're trading targets <laughs> ah gosh all right we're still doing fine on health get off me we won't be if this keeps up but they are definitely tag teaming uh all right Oop. Can I let me bite, please? Hello? No, let me bite. I let me bite. Let me bite. I want to bite. <laughs> there we go. We're definitely doing a lot more damage to them than they are to us, though, which is exactly. Get off. Oh my gosh. Oh my 
gosh. No! No! Get off me, you jerks! Oh, okay, there's two of them on me, so we probably want to be a little careful with that. We're probably gonna get attacked. Oh, 21 damage. Good. No, I'll take that. I will def take that. Great. Moose is just like, what in the heck? The moose, the, the moose is just like, what is this? What is what is happening? I almost would feel bad now. I would almost feel bad. Hey! Hey, help us! Help us out! <laughs> I almost feel bad taking on the moose now. I would al almost feel bad for that. You better run. Yeah, get out of here. There we go. There we go. The white one may have a different coat too. I'm not sure. Oh no, did Peregrine's legs do the wonky thing? Oh my goodness. All right, so somewhere around here, there's a scent post. We gotta go claim over that now that we've chased them away. And we'll go ahead and pee on the scent post. I guess this time Hergrin has been flashing more with Prospect Peak too. Oh, hey, we claimed it. Nice. All right, where is... If we go a little bit further this way, we can mark it. We'll leave the moose be. They had uh, enough of a situation just watching that chaos unfold. So we'll find something else to eat. Yeah, Remus, do, do, be, do be saying, come get me. <laughs> All right. Yep, going feral indeed. Sometimes you just gotta go a little feral. Fight stranger wolves. And, uh, and kick butt. Alright. That was a very, very pretty white coat. I wonder if that's actually the uh, white lady coat. I'm not actually sure. Uh, we'll have to take a look when the DLC comes out. Hopefully that'll be before too long. I'm definitely going to be getting it when it gets here uh, because it looks hecka good and uh, I would love to have some more coat variations. I'm always here for coat variations and I love that we have so many of them now and I think they've said, have they said how many there's going to be? I'm not sure if they've said how many there's going to be, but it sounded like there's going to be a lot of them. And uh, I am very excited for that, if so, because, oh my goodness, uh, it's going to be really cool to see how many more variations they add. Um, yeah, I did I did love the, the coat of the wolf that we targeted. Very pretty wolf, if, uh, if one that we definitely have to chase off. White lady coat has some orange in it. 15! Yeah, wow! So that's going to be very, very cool. That's like... Not quite double the number of coats. Well, I think it's like a third of the coats that we have now. I think we have about 30 coats at the moment, if I'm not mistaken. Because um, we have about 10 from Life is Rough. We have, well, no, we've, uh, we've got maybe closer to, how many do we have? We've got something like 40, I think, and then they just added the new it's dispersal exclusive ones. Yeah, I don't actually know, but uh, we will see. We will see. It's, it's definitely going to be a good addition to what we got. Um, let's see. Let's go down here and do some territory marking here. Remus is a little bit hurt from that fight. Peregrine's a little bit hurt, but nothing that should be too drastic that they can't deal with it. I think we're still good. Where is the scent post in this one? It's over this way. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, oh, we gotta get back, though. We do gotta get back. Um, 40 coats currently. Wow. So it's still, it's still, that's still pretty, that's still almost half again what we've got. Uh, it's still a significant addition to the coat library. And I definitely hope we continue to see that grow. That's one thing I'm actually very excited for because there's so many potential, so much potential for different wolf coats and different themes of wolf coats. And uh, I'm very excited to see if they ever add more in the future. I certainly hope they do because that's one thing you can really never have too much of is customization options. Uh, it's very fun to see what they are adding in and I've loved the uh, new um, ambassador coats. Remus, do be confident. Uh, what's the weirdest glitch I've found? Um, I have... Oh, that's a, that's a buck. I don't want to deal with that. Uh, on bears... Okay, we're, leave, leave, don't, do not, do not. Uh, we're gonna cross and try and find a mule deer on the other side, try to find something to eat. Uh, I think I have video on, in a, one of the really old episodes of Katari's Quest, I got to share some of my beta footage. There was a bug where, when the moose were first added to 2.7, uh, if they, in multiplayer, somehow their damage was messed up so they would deal damage to the wrong wolf so another wolf could run up and bite them and get kicked and you would take damage and it was so stupid and it was so funny it was one of the weirdest things i've ever seen in testing though like it was oh that's a bull moose never mind then i was hoping speaking of moose <laughs> but it was definitely wild and very interesting to see okay we've got to we gotta hurry are there? There are fawns. Okay, we're gonna go for the fawns because that's gonna be a little bit easier, I think. 
Um, if we we can also bring just straight up bring one back for the puppies. Oops, I got to let stamina regen. Uh, if we take down two fawns, all right, nope, I did get kicked. All right, Remus, help, Remus, Remus. All right, oh, ouch. I'm not being I'm being kind of reckless here because I just want food and I want to get back fast. Oh, oh, almost. Oh my goodness, how little health do you have? Stab it! Oh my goodness, yeah, Remus just went for the mama. All right, there we go. Remus, you can eat that if you'd like. Peregrine's already pretty much at full, and I think the others must have gone that way. We will follow the trail in a minute here. We'll see. Did he finish that off? I imagine he probably did. Oh, I see where they went. They went this way. All right. Let's go over here, and then we'll try and track down the other one. We can bring one back for the bibbies as well. Oh, there goes an eagle. Whoa. All right. Oh, the mom is a little confused. The mom, the mom is confused. She doesn't know what to do. Uh-oh. She got a little, little bit caught up in what she was doing. All right. Almost, almost down. Almost down. Just needs one more bite. All right. There we go. And we can go ahead and bring back. Oh, do not eat that, Remus. This is for the babies. This is for our babies. All right. Where is our uh, rendezvous site? Right over here. Uh, yeah, it was very messed up damage. It was really, really weird, and I'm pretty sure I have video. I think that was the adventure that I had video of that I was allowed to put up in one of Katari's episodes. Uh, I think it was episode four of the Origin Pack on uh, the J Plays YouTube. <laughs> so I have video of that being weird. Um, let's see. What did I say? It was one of my favorite things while drawing. I love being able to go absolutely ham with lighting. Uh, I just did a piece recently where I got to go just absolutely buck hecking wild with dramatic lighting and it is like my favorite thing. <laughs> it's so fun. I love when I get to use layer effects. I, I, I definitely overuse the layer effects, but it's really fun. That's just a hair. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Everybody, dinner's here. And you guys can all eat. There we go. There we go. The babies can have their food. Um... The mule deer moms don't usually help. They tend to be more skittish. Well, so, I mean, they sometimes do, but they do tend to be more skittish than the elk moms who are really, really, really go wild. Um, yeah, <laughs> Remus is a uh, the minute the minute uh, the minute Peregrine mentions food, he's already there. Oh, he's he's hanging out on the other side. He's a good dad. He's keeping watch. He is a good dad. He, I, I like Remus a lot. He's very fun. Um, <laughs> Remus do be like for me. <laughs> he do every time. He's just like, ooh, food. Is this, is mine? Can take? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I do showcase my, I usually post my art on my Twitter. I, um, Kestrel. Uh, I also have an Instagram and I have a waterfall and a DeviantArt. So I do put my, my art up on there. It's just JZX535 <laughs> on, uh, on DeviantArt and Instagram. And then there's an JZX underscore 535 on Twitter. I should probably put some of my links. I need to like get an actual stream overlay. People keep telling me to do this. Hello. Why are we lagging? Why do we be doing this? It's, uh, it's chugging a little bit for no reason. It's uh, decided that it, uh, it wants to be slow. Uh, so I may actually, well, we'll see. Um, well, oh, is it back? It's back. I think we're good. All right. I was going to say we might have to wrap up a little early if it does that. Um, but well, it's still kind of chugging. We'll see. If it keeps chugging, I might, uh, I might wrap up a little bit early here. I don't use Facebook anymore though. I don't really like Facebook <laughs> for being real. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of Facebook. Ivy, why don't we not do this? Why, how about we do not do this? And how about we go back to your siblings and hang out as a group where I can keep track of everyone who still needs food? It's Tyga. Um, Tyga's eating though, so we're good, we're good. It do be chugging just a little bit at the moment. Um, so we may actually go ahead yet yeah, leg goper. Oh, is it back? No, maybe not. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Sometimes leg goper. I don't exactly know what makes leg goper, but a lot of the time it, it fixes if you reload. So Ivy, Ivy, how about we do not? Uh, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and actually wrap up here because it is just about time and if lag go burr, then, uh, I don't want it to- I don't want to be fighting predators when it's lagging out, hello? Oh, hey, how about we do not? How about we do not? How about we don't? 
All right, uh, where is... No, 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 Hey, 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 hello, 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 Kestrel? Kestrel? Kestrel, please? Kestrel, I'm going to pick you up. I'm going to bring you back to the, to the grass. Uh, please hide. There we go, he's hidden. <laughs> Peregrine just be like, drop in grass. Uh, but I don't really want to be dealing with predators when we got leg as well. Are they leaving? No, they're not. All right. Oh, there's... Did they split? Oh, I don't actually know if they split. They might have split up. I only can see the one. The problem is there were two, and I only see one, and that's, uh, that's a problem. I'm gonna eat this so that I stop tripping over it. Ivy? Ivy? Oh, good, they left. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> I was gonna eat that, so I stopped tripping over it, but yeah. So I think we're gonna go ahead and wrap up here, because it do be about that time again. I'm gonna woof the puppos back in the grass, just to be extra safe, and we're gonna go ahead and end off here on that uh, rather exciting note. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.